Hello and welcome. This is Sports Tonight, so broadcasting live from Channel TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. I'm Austin Okonakman, former Super Eagles coach TV Keshi. is finally laid to rest in his hometown of Ila in Delta States. The big boss played for Nigeria and also served as coach and has contributed immensely to the development of football in Nigeria now. Is no more. Rest in peace, Coach Stephen Keshi. On the show tonight, we'll be showing love to former Super Eagles coach Stephen Keshi. We'll be reading tributes, more tributes pouring in for uh, the late football icon from Nigeria. Let's bring you into all of what we're doing tonight on the show, particularly with showing love to uh, Stephen Keshi, who has finally been laid to rest today. Remember, he died on the 8th of June 2016. And today he's been laid to rest. You can talk to us on Twitter, what channels underscore sports, Facebook, what channels I think sports. You can also send us an email, sports tonight at channels tv.com. Just also let you know that all our top stories can be viewed on our website. It's channels tv.com uh, forward slash uh, YouTube forward slash channels web. If you're on the go, you can, you can download the Channels TV app for your iPad, iPhone, your Blackberry, your Windows phones, your iOS, and of course your Android phone can do the magic. It's so simple. M.ChannelsTV.com. Download the app and you'll be part of all, I mean everything, that we'll be doing tonight on the show. It's still an action packed, money spinning, exciting, interesting, engaging world of sports. Oh, want you to be part of the show. Yes, we're missing the big boss already, but hey, what can we do? We we'll still need to be part of all we're doing tonight on the show. Let's welcome Rotimi Akindele. He joins us now on the show to take a look at the life and times of Coach Stephen Keshi and, of course, every other thing going down in your world. I suppose, Rotimi, good to have you on the show. Good evening, Austin. Good mm. to be here. Mm. Mm. Uh, I don't know. The day started um, on, a, on a very um, sad note, especially when you're still trying to get over the shock yeah. that this has uh, this, this actually happened over a month ago and then you know until someone has been committed to the earth mm. it won't dawn on you that's right and that's uh, that's the feeling we had today that's the feeling we got today mm. um, it's so sad but um, as the saying um, goes life goes on uh, we have to continue you know watching football yeah, stopped, playing actually. football and all that so but I mean our condolences to the families right. um, the very loved ones you know, that we're closer to Stephen Keshi than us. We actually met him on a professional level, mm. not um, the family, not the brother, not the sisters. But I feel it's, it's sad, really. Up on, uh, from yesterday, all the activities, even up, up until this point, um, as I said earlier, it's dawned on us now that yeah. there's no and more Stephen Keshi. I see you. He was struggling for words. Yeah. That happened to me earlier as of today. So that's it. On behalf of the sports team at Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria, our hearts goes out to the Keshi family. We love you guys so much. We're praying for you in this time that you're mourning the loss of Stephen Keshi. Sports fans, wherever you are, let's show some love to former Super Eagles coach Stephen Keshi. <laughs> So that's it, 1962 to 2016. The big boss, Stephen Keshi, was just 52 when he left. We'll let you see pictures now. Let's go to Ila in Delta State, where the remains of former Super Eagles coach Stephen Okechuku Keshi was laid to rest uh, today in his hometown of Ila in Oshimili North, local government area of Delta State's well wishes, family members, friends, everyone that loved the big boss, ex-internationals, his friends, his colleagues, they all turned up uh, for that, um, what you can see on your screen, the requiem mass at St. John, the Evangelist Catholic Church in Ila, where the officiating priest, Reverend Father Dennis Aweli, observed the presence of dignitaries and well wishers, including his old colleagues, I thought I noted, that Keshi's lifetime was devoted to rendering service to his motherland. And as you can see, this picture is written me. Yeah. More reality steps in. Yeah, m more realities. And um, coupled with the fact that you have footballers, football attires, all of that. I mean, that's, that, that, that represents Keshi himself. Mm. Everything about him was football. And um, he really gave his all to this nation as a player and as a coach. And it's just, um, as I said earlier, it's pretty sad, but. 
I mean, seeing the number of people, you know, come out to come pay their last respect uh, mm. is something really uh, massive. We talked about dignitaries that were on, on ground, we talked about ex-internationals, his colleagues, the fact that um, the Jesse that won us the First Nations Cup in yeah. Nigeria uh, was done, I mean, part of it was done today again by mm. some of his colleagues then. Um, it, it really goes to show that uh, uh, we, we loved what he did for us, you know, while, while, while he went at a young age of 54. I, I'm not sure 54 is too old. Uh, I mean, it's an old age. But then the kids love just that uh, we have to um, live a good life just like their dad did. And that's, that's just my message for them. Don't forget that Austin, they just lost their mom barely two years yeah. ago. Uh, yeah. it, it's really sad. But as I said, it's happened. It's done on us. Uh, Stephen Keshi is no more. So that's it. So set the record straight. It's 54, not 52. I said 52 earlier. 54 years ago, Stephen Keshi lived uh, before he passed on. You see more pictures from uh, the Requiem Mass in Ila Delta State where his body was finally laid to rest. You can see friends, well wishers, uh, including former Super Eagles goalkeeper uh, Peter Rufai was there. The headmaster, Mutu Adekbaju, yeah. he's been showing so much love to Coach Stephen Keshi. Also, you also saw Austin Eguavoy, he's been there all through Friday. Put Terrible West fan, yeah, Victor Ekbeba, and a host of other ex internationals. They all, you know, they all came out to show love to uh, the former colleagues. God, look, I don't know what else to use in describing Coach Steven Cash, but what comes to mind, wrote to me, is service. He lived the life of service. Definitely. And, and um, you know, it's been, it's been leading. That he's a leader on and off the pitch. We saw that while he was active, and we saw that after football. And, uh, I mean, if, if you're a good person, you see a lot of persons um, maybe celebrate you when you go. You know, yeah. probably talk about, uh, talk good about you and all that. I think that's what we're seeing uh, with Stephen Keshi. And uh, you can, if there's another word for service to the nation, uh, probably we'll use that. But I mean, let's just play safe by using the word service to describe a certain man called Stephen Keshi. I know, I know. Whew, so that's the requirements there. Um, everyone turned up for the big boss. And we're getting tributes, more tributes on social media. Keep them coming. Channels underscore sports on Twitter, channels I think sports on Facebook. Where he was laid to rest in Ila, a lot of tributes also poured in. Yeah. Let's go there now, listen to some of the tributes, good things people have to say about the late coach Stephen Cash. He'll be right back. Stay with us. Yes, next contribution to football all over the world. Compromises on England's war with the Nigerian youths and senior national team all over the world. My dear friends, his achievements within the country and outside the country are a rich legacy which will continue to live in our hearts. As a person, he was driven by a high sense of patriotism and dedication which motivated him to always fly his craft from the front. Still indeed, and some of the actors that uh, they have, and um, he has seen the scripts. He has seen and he has conquered. It is unfortunate we had to miss him. It's a pity this is happening to football fraternity today. And um, since we are not God, we cannot change what God has ordained to happen in life. We are going to miss him seriously. We are going to miss his leadership role. Is a brotherly kindness and helping one another to get to make you get to that stage that you want to get to in life. I he was a role model that people will always look up to. No matter what is passing through, he will always help you to make sure that he gets you to your limelight. We really miss him in our own circle in football and other aspect of life. 